Hello everyone, this is NAI here, and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to create this initials logo in Affinity Designer. For this logo I am going to use a font called David Libre, I will add the link for it in the description so that you can follow along. Alright, so first we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we make sure that snapping and snap to spread is enabled. And then we're going to take the artistic text tool. As a font, we select David Libre, regular. And we give it 300 points. And then we write a capital D. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then we turn the second letter into a capital J. And then we're going to position them. So we position them in a way that the J comes in and out of the D here at the top and at the bottom left. And then we select both letters. And we center them in the middle of the composition. And then the next step is going to be to go to Layer, Convert to Curves. So now the letters are converted into curves. We need to do this before we do operations on them with the Shape Builder tool. And also we press on Escape to unselect. And we set the stroke to None and the fill to Black. We also need to do that before we start using the Shape Builder tool. And then we select both letters. We take the Shape Builder tool. We set the Action to Plus and the Clean Up to None. And then we connect these three elements here of the letter J. And then these three elements here of the letter D. So now we have connected all the parts that we need connected together. The next step is going to be to create the gaps between the letters. And we are going to do so with the contour tool. So we take the contour tool. We leave the contour type to round to keep the round angles. And then we decrease the radius. So I'll set it to minus four. And as you can see, this creates the gaps between the letters. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create an initials logo in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.